By definition, and distance formula, it measures the length of a line segment given its two points. So, ang formula na gagamitin natin ngayon, yan yung magsusukat kung gano'ng kalayo yung uh, point A sa point B. Using D equals the square root of the square of x squared minus x1 plus the square of y squared minus y sub 1. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin ngayon para makuha natin algebraically yung distance between point P and point Q. So, for example, meron tayo dito ng dalawang points, yung point P and point Q. Kapag kinonect natin yung dalawang points na yan, makakabuo tayo ng line segment. At yung line segment na yan, yan yung ating susukatin o yung distance ng line segment PQ ay makukuha natin using this formula. Now, let's say na itong point P na ito ay nasa coordinate or ang coordinate ng point P na ito ay 2, 3 at ang coordinate naman ng point Q ay 5, 7. Kapag ka meron tayong coordinates at hahanapin natin yung length ng distance between P and Q, gagamitin natin yung distance formula. So sa distance formula, kung meron tayong dalawang points, 2, 3 and 5, 7, Ilalabel lang natin kung sino yung x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, at saka y sub 2. So yung ating first point, yung x sub 1 and y sub 1, at yung second point natin, yung x sub 2 at y sub 2. Now by direct substitution dito sa ating distance formula, we'll have the distance is equal to the square root of 5 minus 2 squared plus 7 minus 3 squared. So isisimplify natin yung ating equation by... Adding 5 or subtracting 5 and 2 at saka 7 and 3. So, meron tayo ngayon 3 squared at saka 4 squared. At alam natin yung 3 squared at 4 squared ay 9 and 16. And if we add them up, will be 25. So, therefore, yung square root ng 25, which is 5, ay yung tinatawag nating distance ng point P sa point Q. So, therefore, the distance between point P and point Q is 5 units using the distance formula. Sa susunod naman nating example, we need to find the length of the line segment given A is 3 and negative 2 and B is equal to negative 5 and negative 1. So, hahanapin daw natin kung gano'ng kahaba yung line segment AB given its points. So, syempre, since hinahanap natin kung ano yung length ng ating line segment, pwede natin gamitin yung distance formula because yung distance natin, eh pwede rin naman natin gamitin para sa paghanap ng haba ng isang linya. So, ito yung formula na ginamit natin kanina na gagamitin natin ngayon para masukat yung line segment AB. So, yung ating first point which is 3 and negative 2 at yung second point is negative 5 and negative 1. Ililabel natin yung ating mga points para mas madali natin malaman kung ano yung x sub 1 y sub 1 at x sub 2 at y sub 2. At by direct substitution, so you have negative 5 minus 3 squared plus negative 1 minus negative 2 quantity squared. At simplifying your expression, you'll have the square root of 64 plus 1 which gives you the square root of 65. So yung distance natin, since yung 65 ay hindi perfect square, pwede na nating iwanan yung ating sagot as radical form. So, yung distance ng line segment AB is equal to the square root of 65. So, kapag in rough natin yung ating line segment, ito yung line or yung point A, at ito naman si point B, yung sukat daw nitong linya na to, or yung haba ng linya na to, ay equal to the square root of 65. Na kung gagamitan natin ng calculator at hahanapin natin yung approximation ng square root of 65 and square root of 65 is approximately equal to 8.06 units. So, mapapansin nyo, mas na-visualize nyo na kung gaano kahaba yung line segment BA using the actual value of the square root of 65 which is 8.06. At yan yung paggamit ng line segment para hanapin yung distance between two points or yung haba ng isang line segment given its two points.